Did you know that Google gives some pretty interesting statements if you try to type Finland or anything Finland related stuff to Google? And today I will show you seven really funny statements Google thinks about Finland. Let's go check them out. So what a fantastic My name is Alex and I make authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland. So if you're first timer here and you're interested in Finland, make sure to subscribe button because you will join our fantastic squad and get more awesome Finnish videos in the future. And today we have a special guest joining. We have Nakka Kuppen from Sweden. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello Alexi. I hope you're having a splendid day out there in Finland. Are you ready to discuss about some funny Finnish statements from Google? Of course. Uh, people are asking these really weird questions. So it's it's gonna be interesting. Can you quickly tell who are you and what kind of stuff you do on your channel? As you mentioned, my name is Naki Gubin and I do uh, no, I, I do Swedish videos for most of the part. So if you're interested in Swedish or anything goofy, you should head over to me and say hi. <laughs> so if you type in Google, why are Finns? And the first statement we get is why are Finns so quiet? So that's quite uh, interesting. A little bit maybe stereotypical hmm. Finnish stereotype. So what do you think about this statement? I think it's a very like very common statement. I've heard it a lot, and uh, and the standardized joke I think on the internet is that Finns are quiet because there's it's such a long distance between each Finn. It's it's a big country and so little Finns in the country. Um, yeah, and that, that's a good point. And actually, what is notable is that. Finland is also a sparsely populated country, so we have uh, maybe around 15-16 people per square kilometer. So <laughs> yeah. it's it also the distance, but there's also quite few people close to each other. So that's also one thing to keep in mind. Yeah, it's also famous about the, the whole dilemma of standing in the bus queue in Finland and uh, the personal space. Yeah, exactly. You have like two meters in between each uh, person, but I would say it's pretty much the same in in Sweden, but it's. It seems like people take it uh, way more seriously in, in Finland to have the personal space. Do you know why it is like that? I believe that because it's been like this ever since the beginning of the times. Like we Finns have been used to, to the fact that there's not that much people around us. And it's also kind of like indivi individualistic mindset that we are supposed to kind of take care of ourselves. And we don't necessarily need uh, the help from other people. So mm. I, I guess that's kind of the thing that we are used to do the stuff on our own yeah statement number two is that why Finns are so good at English so what do you think about that that's an interesting thing because if I were to ask a random Swede if they believe that Finns are good at English I, I'm not sure that they would agree though oh really most Finns that I've met have perfectly good English uh, you can hear the accent a little bit but I, I'm sure you can hear the accent on Swedes as well so <laughs> I think the reason to why Finns are so good at English would probably be the fact that it's a very well-educated country. We all know for the fact that Finland has the best school, I don't know if the best school, but one of the best school systems in the world, so I, that's my guess to why pe people in Finland speak such good English. Yeah, uh, that's probably one factor contributing this. In my opinion, uh, one of the things is also that we get exposed to English quite easily because we, for example, we don't dub any TV mm -hmm. series or movies. We always just get the subtitles. Mm -hmm. For example, in, in many Central European countries like Germany, they always dub everything and mm -hmm. everything spoken in German. But here, we don't really dub anything else besides like cartoons like Pokemon and Digimon were mm -hmm. like in Finnish when I was a kid. But nowadays, if you just put in like a movie, like a foreign movie, it's going to be spoken in English and you just get the subtitles. So we actually get to, we get exposed quite easily to English, but applied especially to me because I played crap load of video games as a kid and yeah. they were all in, all in English because why would Nintendo or Sony like translate some games to this random country language like Finnish? So yeah. it was all, always in English and that's, I was learning a lot of vocabulary and stuff. Mm -hmm. those games. Yeah, games are a very good source to learn other languages in general. I, I can That's, say as a, a fun fact is that my, my only Finnish sentence that I know was something I learned from a player when playing Diablo 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I asked somebody, can you teach me a Finnish sentence? And he said, 
Oh, you should say, siinä haiset perron alle ja makkaan alle. Uh, that's where you learned that from, okay. <laughs> yes, so that's okay. why it's so random. It's just somebody who taught me that when I was 14 years old or something. So it's, right. it's a very good source of learning other languages. However, though, you, may, you may be not learning the, the best sentences sometimes, but you know. Uh, number three is really interesting. Why are Finns so good in bed? <laughs> <laughs> in bed? <laughs> what do you think about this one? I don't know if I have an answer to that because I, I haven't been in bed to, with any Finns. Oh, well, you should, you should, you should. Maybe you're up for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have to talk about that after this video. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just doing a big long shot here. Maybe yeah, okay. you have, there's so little people that once you meet a Finn, you really gotta go for it. Good theory, good theory. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It feels like a very, uh, a personal thought that Finns are good in bed. Then again, it's such a, it's a sentence that's been searched so much that it's actually one of your suggested entries. So it, it must mean something, I suppose. What do you think? To be honest, I was also surprised myself and <laughs> I've never heard of this kind of statement before. I, I know people saying like, like Finns are so tall and so blonde and so mm -hmm. handsome and stuff. Maybe that's that's the thing that the thing you said might have some like accuracy there that mm -hmm. we Finns are kind of shy and we don't really engage into a conversation and interaction with ourselves. But once you click with someone and everything goes so smoothly, it's like, 254 percent like rawr, rawr, you know this, <laughs> exactly. this kind of it might be something related to that but to be honest this was really fun <laughs> fun and yeah. surprising uh, fact that people are actually searching this kind of thing stuff it's well. definitely worth to check out in the future all your viewers if you the advice that i would tell you is go and find out yourself <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a that's a very good answer. This video is getting too naughty, so let's move on to the next one. <laughs> this next one is a little bit related to the previous one. Why are Finns so beautiful? Ooh, it feels like something that people from not from within Europe would ask. For example, the U.S. or something. I don't know actually. Maybe it's because uh, that there's a lot of blonde people, and I don't know mm -hmm. why blonde is a beautiful thing. I think that's a good point that uh, because you know the sta how the saying goes that beauty is in the eye of the beholder mm -hmm. so it strongly depends where you come from and what are your beauty standards for example like like you exactly. said like you don't really realize what's so special about blonde but mm -hmm. the thing is that here in Nordic countries being blonde is so normal but maybe let's say if you come from like some South America or maybe Southern Europe you are not used to those kind of blonde people and mm -hmm. you find it so exotic and mm -hmm. kind of appealing and so different so you want to kind of it get, gets you going and you wanna, you know, maybe get some <laughs> pound chica, wow, wow, you know. Again, we're, again, we're going to the north place. Oh my god. And we're not even halfway the video. And the statement number five is, why are Finns so depressed? What do you think about that, Nakagoba? Ooh, interesting. Uh, this is one of the stereotypical views of Finns in general, I would say. My personal view would be that it's because it's, it's so cold in Finland, <laughs> it's dark, you don't meet people, there is a lot of makara. Like dark, cold, and you're alone for the most part. That's mm -hmm. my guess. I think this is also related to the first fact we had, that Finns are quiet. Because we are a little bit reserved and maybe a little yeah. bit gloomy and we don't also express ourselves that easily. And let's say, for example, if you are really happy, or you achieve something, you don't necessarily bring it out to the other people. It's, it's just kind of like the, the way how we Finns usually kind of how they say function and that we mm -hmm. don't really express ourselves. And some people might think it's kind of like gloomy and a little bit mm -hmm. sad, a little bit weird, but I, I think it's, it's just kind of the way of life here in Finland. Or maybe it's the fact that other people think that you're depressed, but in the, the reality is that this is just the way of how you communicate in Finland, for example. Exactly. And yeah. uh, if you were to go to, for example, the US, then it's expected of you to be more outgoing. And, and if you're not, then you're considered to be <laughs> depressed mm. or maybe sad, but maybe, maybe you aren't. Uh, right. Good points. Number six, pretty interesting one. Why are Finns so good at driving? So this Ooh. was also quite surprising for me, but what do you think about this one? Interesting. Driving is nothing that I've thought about, but the famous uh, drivers from Finland. Uh, do, when I grew do. up, you had Mika Häkkinen, 
which Acumen, was yes. he was in the top in the Formula One, and you also have a lot of rally rally drivers. Is that how rally you say? drivers? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Correct. I suppose that there's some kind of a culture around driving that isn't present in other countries as much. And maybe mm -hmm. you have the whole, you have a really good nature for driving around in rally cars, for example, uh, in the woods. That's actually quite accurate. This was also a little bit surprising for me, but like you said, we have, uh, first of all, these famous Formula One drivers like Kimi Räikkönen, Mika Häkkinen, mm -hmm. and then also rally drivers like Tommy Mackin and Juha Kankkunen. Oh, yeah. uh, first of all, is mm -hmm. that we have pretty, how would I say, let's say challenging driving conditions, especially in the winter, because we have a lot of snow, a little yeah. lot of ice. And so we are used to drive in challenging conditions and it's kind of like a normal thing to, you know, drive in the winter and, you know, try to keep your car in, uh, in, in control in even yeah. in challenging conditions. And also w what you said, it's really easy to access uh, to, for example, some roads in the woods and in the nature so where we can actually mm. go practice. If, if, yeah. we, if we want it. So I, I think that might be some of the factors contributing to this statement. Do you have uh, the same tests in your uh, in Finland where you when you're taking your driver's license you have to do this kind of uh, ice course uh, yes. to be able to pass the test? Yes, we have the same in Sweden and I, I don't think that's very common for other countries to have uh, unless oh, you're okay. living in a very icy country I suppose but uh, I think that can contribute as well because you're you're you need to be aware that uh, the roads can be slippery uh, mm. because of ice so so the statement number seven is why are fins so tall okay that's the interesting mm. one what do you think about that one interesting i haven't really thought about this because i believe that fins and all, pretty much all people in the the nordic countries are pretty much the same height but maybe that's not correct. To me, Finns, they feel like they're pretty much the same height as Swedes. Uh, so, but maybe that's tall if you're compared to uh, another country, for example. I don't know. Do you know what are the average heights for like Swedish guy and girl? Yes, or I think that the average height for a Swedish guy is 180. Centimeters, 180. that is. And uh, the girls would be 164. I, I think I'd have it back in my head. If you want, I can check the, the facts real quick. Sweden is, the men are one, 181 centimeters tall in average, wow. and the women oh, are shit. 167 in average. If we go to Finland, we have 180 for the men and 166 for the females. So it's pretty much the same, I would say. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit more than I expected. But if you compare so. that to other countries, for example, if you go to uh, Malaysia, where the men are average 164, then it's oh. about almost almost 20 centimeters uh, less. Yeah. So. Okay, so we had pretty interesting seven statements. Which one was the most interesting in your opinion, Nakakuban? I think the whole uh, why are fins so good in bed kind of <laughs> threw me off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Was... I don't know why people search for that, but uh, and why it would be a thing to be good in bed? Like, it, would it be in 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 the genes to be a good a good in bed? I don't know. Uh, it's an interesting yeah. question. Yeah, really. Well, maybe the explanation is that some or well, some people had just kind of hooked up or found <laughs> a Finnish partner and they yep. just had like the best sex in their life and you know <laughs> yep. spread the information on the internet. Well, who knows? Maybe yep. that's the, maybe that's the fact. <laughs> yes. We also did a similar video where we talk about more facts in Nakakuppen's channel, so make sure you tune into his channel and so you can see more awesome facts about Finland. Make sure you also subscribe to Nakakuppen's channel because he makes some pretty awesome Swedish related and also sometimes Finnish videos on his channel, so make sure to check it out.